This training module will cover the wash cycle for the new power soak systems, which is a more productive method of washing wares where everyone helps and wares should be continuously cleaned throughout the day. Begin by pressing the load unload button on your controller if so equipped. Otherwise, proceed to the next step, which is to move clean items from the sanitizer drain board and put them away. Do not wipe sanitized items to dry them. Store them in a clean location away from food, dust, and other contamination. Remove items from the sanitizing or third sink and allow them to air dry in the self-draining position. Next, remove items from the wash tank and rinse them over the middle sink. Remove all traces of soap. This will extend the life of your sanitizer solution. Ensure that all items soak in the sanitizer or third sink for at least one minute. Once all items are removed from the wash tank, pre-scrap food from 12 to 15 pans and then place those into the wash tank. Please note that lids go in the main wash area. Utensils go in the smaller wash area. Press the load unload button to start a new cycle if your controller is so equipped. When necessary, Clean out and empty the pre-scrap section into the nearest trash can. A reminder of power soak best practices. No pre-soaking of wares. Utensils only in the utensil area. Lids go in the main tank. Keep the power soak running throughout the day. Do not turn it off. And no pre-scrapping in the rinse tank. If your system does not have a designated pre-scrapper, use a lined trash can. Thank you for choosing Power Soak Systems.